Today on Horseland. <laughs> it's a comedy of errors when a princess visits Horseland. Yes! Will said the princess didn't want to be bothered here. And Chloe and Zoe become royal pains as they try to impress their royal Aww. guest. Did someone bring us food? No, but it's, um, interesting all the same. There you go. Good girl. That's quite a horse. Looks like a first-class snob to me. I think she looks kind of big. And scary. You can't judge somebody by how they look. You have to get to know them. You know. Walk a mile in their shoes. Fortunately, I don't wear shoes. What a beautiful horse. Name's Wendy. What kind of name is that? Wendy comes from a cold place. She belongs to the Princess of Svalsbergen. And I just found out that the princess herself is coming to Horseland for riding lessons. Yay! A real princess. We are so going to give her the five-star treatment. As only we know how, sister. Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> the princess is coming here to get a break from all the attention she usually gets. So the last thing she needs is anybody acting up. The princess and her assistant are the only ones coming. They are keeping the whole thing real quiet. No newspapers? No magazines? No gossip shows? No. And it's up to us to keep it that way. Treat them like you would any other students. Hey, we can keep a secret. Right, Chloe? Right, Zoe? Well, duh. Double duh. Hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to tell the other girls at school. They're gonna be so jealous. Welcome to Horseland. I'm Scarlet. That horse is snootier than a peacock on parade. I never thought I would say this, Angora, but you might be right. Now, now, give the new horse a chance. What's all this? What are you two doing? As you know, Zoe and I have impeccable manners. So we thought we'd teach all of you how to behave around royalty. Will told us not to make a fuss. Get real, Sarah. You expect me to listen to a guy who wears plaid? Now let's begin with a lesson in fine dining. Aren't you jumping the gun a little here? We don't know anything about this princess. That's right. We should wait. Get to know the princess first and find out what she likes. Girls, girls, girls. Once you know a person's background, her breeding, her social standing, that's all that matters. Now, who wants to show us which fork to use first? Should we make a break for it? No, they'd catch us. They can run fast. Hello. Let's pay attention, hmm? Now, this is a service plate. It's never actually eaten on. It will be removed when the first course is brought. And this is an appetizer fork. It's the only fork placed on the right side of the plate. And this is the dessert fork. Notice it's placed horizontally above the plate. <sighs> Hello, my name is Alexia. Howdy. My name's Will, and these are... Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Zoe. And we are so totally thrilled to meet you. Thank you. Uh, but the suitcases... We'll let the help get that. You must be the princess's assistant. Well, I, um... I'm Sarah. This is Alma. Heya. My name is Linnea. Can we help you unload the car? Yes, thank you. What's it like being a princess? I mean, a real one. Daddy calls us princesses, but it's not like we're actually official, you know? Ah! Our 
Are you okay? Uh, yes, but those horses are so big. I, I mean, nice. Big and nice horses. <laughs> <laughs> This is a beautiful home you have. Oh, I don't live here. This is where I board my horse, so I come by pretty much every day. Uh, would you excuse us, please? Thanks. They think I'm you and you're me. We have to tell them. Yes, yes, of course. As soon as... No, we have to tell them now. But... Uh, now, now, your highness. You can't run away from us. We're your new best friends. Someone will show you where to put the bags, okay? Don't worry. We'll take good care of the princess. I'm sure you will. Sorry about the way they're acting. That must drive the princess crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine. This is a beautiful horse. Yeah, she sure is. You like horses a lot, huh? Oh, yeah. When I get on a horse, I feel so free. It's wonderful. Well, maybe we could go riding sometime. Really? We can take the trail up to Charlton Ridge. You can see the whole valley from up there. Really? When can we go? Whenever you want. Excuse me, but your princess needs help getting dressed for her lesson. Well, uh, duty calls. Sure, I'll saddle up her horse. It's okay, girl. She's going to get the princess now. Why is the princess taking so long? It must be that awful assistant of hers. You know how hard it is to find good help. Here they come. Don't worry, Alexia. Windy is very gentle. Your Highness, you know I never learned how to ride. I can't get on a horse. I can barely get into these pants. You look fine, Alexia. How I look is not the point. Please, can't we just pretend a bit longer? At home, I have so little freedom. Here, no one even knows who I am. You're Princess Linnea of Svalsbergen, and I'm your assistant. And trading clothes won't change that. What will change is how people feel when they find out you tricked them. Oh, you're right, Alexia. We have to tell them the truth, and soon. All righty. Ready for your lesson? Uh, no, I'm not. Why is that? Because, uh, uh, you tell them. Princess! yoo -hoo. Uh, I'm afraid Alexia won't be writing today because she's, uh... What's wrong, princess? Yes, what is it? The princess won't be riding today because, uh... Ah! Because her boots are dirty. What? what? Hate to break it to you, miss, but when you ride horses, that kind of comes with the territory. Uh, nevertheless, the princess will not be riding today. I'm going back in the house now. I'll clean them for you, princess. No, let me. You've never cleaned a boot in your life. Yeah, but I watched someone do it once. I guess we have time for that trail ride now. I don't think Alexia will like it. <laughs> but let's do it. Are you sure it's okay for you to ride the princess's horse? Oh, yeah, I know she won't mind. Have fun, you two! Look, Linnea. Race you to the top! I have to tell her the truth. But what if she gets upset or starts treating me like... like a princess? Oh, it's beautiful here. Thought you'd like it. See that lake out there? In summer, we go swimming there. Whenever you wish. Sure, we're safe. 
As long as we go as a group. It must be nice to have good friends like that. It's what friends do, right? They take care of each other. They're always there for each other, right? Right. Lydia's gone. I know. You know? Saw her and Sarah right off about an hour ago. They'll be fine. No, no. Uh, you don't understand. She can't leave my sight. You must take me to her at once. We'll do it. Don't worry, Princess. You can ride with me. No, with me. Heads or tails? Tails. Fine. Give me your hand. Whoa. Don't worry, Princess. We're the fastest riders in the county. Fastest? Yeah! Whoa. What a great ride. For sure. But it's getting late. Oh, I suppose we should get back now. Well, it's a little late for that. How dare you run away? I didn't run away. We just went for a ride. And I guess you're behind all this? Well, yeah, but I didn't mean to cause any trouble. You have no idea how much trouble you could have caused. Come on. Let's go home. Now look, I do know one thing. You may be a princess, princess, but you are being incredibly mean to Linnea. Sarah! Alexia can treat her help any way she wants. She's royalty. Alexia was only worried about me, Sarah. She and I may be different, but we're like... friends. Well, a friend shouldn't treat a friend like that. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Friends aren't supposed to boss each other around. Could I have a word with you? Now? Excuse me. I can't believe they're still arguing. You sure messed that one up, Sarah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the princess fired Linnea. <laughs> <laughs> Linnea has something to tell you. Well, go on. Sarah, I've been thinking about what you said, about how friends should treat friends. And, well, though we just met, I consider you a friend. So I'd never do anything to hurt you or make you think less of me. Of course, you have every right to be mad, but I hope you won't be. I have no idea what you're saying. Sarah, Alexia is not the princess of Svalsbergen. But if she's not the princess, then who... You mean, you? Me. Sorry, Angora. I can't get it. You're stuck in there. Ah! She never says anything to us. I know. What a snob. So, let me get this straight. Alexia isn't a princess. Right. But Linnea is. Also right. Are you sure it's okay for me to know this? Linnea said I could tell you, but she wants to tell Chloe and Zoe herself. That I have to see. Girls, we have a big announcement. What's that? At 5 o'clock tonight, we are going to hold a gigantic party for Princess Alexia. For Princess... Alexia. Yeah, that will be a surprise. We've invited all of our friends from the country club and the yacht club and the tennis club and... Will said the princess didn't want to be bothered here. You, you have to cancel this. Sorry, can't. Already charged the caterer on our credit card. So don't be late or you won't rate. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better find Linnea. Linnea, Alexia! 
Chloe and Zoe are inviting friends over and they're going to throw a party. For who? For the princess. Only they think that's you. Aww. What should we do, princess? Well, first you should go back to calling me Linia, like before. Okay, Linia. And second, there's nothing to do. Maybe it'll be fun to meet these friends. Guess what? We're throwing a party tonight in honor of you, Princess. How kind of you. We'll be very pleased to attend. Um, one problem. You aren't invited. What? Come on, Sarah. You know we never invite the hired help. Unless you want to serve food or wash dishes or something. You're making a big mistake. See, Linnea... Completely understands. Good. But tell you what. You can stick around and watch if you want. From a distance. You might learn something. Yeah, because we know how to treat a princess like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe and Zoe's dad is not going to be happy when he sees this bill. Food's good, though. Where is that she? girl's waving! It must be awful putting up with this craziness all the time. Some people don't seem to mind. Hi, my name is Chloe, and this is my sister Zoe. Hi. And we'd like to welcome all of you to Horseland. Where is she? Anyway, we have a special treat tonight. A chance to meet the incredibly reclusive, rich, and royal Princess of Spalsbergen. I said, presenting the Princess of Spalsbergen. Princess? <laughs> er, princess? Over here? No, over here. <gasps> uh, uh, her, uh, who? Good evening, everyone. First, I'd like to thank my new friends at Horseland, particularly Sarah. This is a special place, and I'm grateful for the days I've spent here. Who do you think you are? Yeah, who? The Princess of Spalsbergen. She is? You are? Yes, I am. And I'm grateful to these young ladies, Chloe and Zoe. They helped me see what a fine and faithful friend I have in my assistant, Alexia. Uh, oh, no! No! <laughs> I can't believe Linnea has to leave already. And I can't believe we wasted the whole time hanging around with the wrong princess. <sighs> We'd better go say goodbye. I had a wonderful stay, Sarah. Please thank everyone for me. I had fun, too. You really know how to treat a guest like royalty, even when they're not. We know there's no excuse for not telling the truth. And we're sorry. Well, um, we're sorry, too. Even if Alexia is just, you know, the hired help? Well, yeah, that. The thing is, we found out that you are actually nice, and we're lucky we got to know you, sorta. Here, this is something for Horseland. Oh, how pretty! It's called a Dala horse, a traditional gift where I come from. Thank you, Linnea. And thank you for everything. Well, we'd better go, Alexia. There's a plane waiting for us at the airport. Yes, good luck ahead! What did you just say to her? I told her, I will take you home now. Windy only understands Icelandic. What do you know? She wasn't a snob. She just didn't understand what we were saying. That's why she didn't talk to us. Hmm, huh, I knew that. Bless, bless. That means goodbye. Bless, bless. Bless, bless. bless, bless. bless. I'm glad we met that horse. Me too. She turned out to be pretty nice after all. Right, Angora? I suppose some of us may have jumped to conclusions about her. Yep. The world's full of fine folks. 
if you just take the time to get to know them. They'll be here soon. Oh, I wonder what that's all about. I've got the blanket. Here's some hay. My, my, my. They certainly are busy. Shep, Angora, do you know what's going on? They're getting ready for a couple of visitors. Visitors? I can't wait to meet them. I can. Ugh. We don't need more horses clapping around here. It's not always easy having somebody new around, but I hope we'll all make them feel at home. Yeah, whatever. Company! Oh, company! <sighs> I can't believe we're going to have twin foals here. Too bad their mom's sick, but it'll be fun having them for a few days, till she gets better. I've never taken care of a foal before, much less two. I've helped take care of my little sister, Lissa, but my parents always did most of the work. Taking care of a foal is a lot of work. And with twins, it'll be twice the work. Can't wait! Sounds like fun. I hope they don't get homesick. It's a big change coming to a strange stable and leaving their mom, even for a few days. Well, I hope they don't get in the way. They're just foals, Aztec. I don't need a couple of foals under hoof. They're here! Come on, Scarlet. Let's show them a real Horseland welcome. Come on, Cream. Come on, Sugar. This is your new home for a few days. Oh! Oh! Aren't they just the sweetest things you ever saw? Let's get these two into the stable. Let me do it, Bailey. Oh, I want to. I don't mind. Neither do I. I can handle it. No, I'd better do it. Don't worry about them. They're just excited you're here with us. We'll show you where you'll be staying. I said I would. No, let me. Hold on a sec. This place is kind of nice, isn't it, Sugar? I think they like it. These blankets will keep them nice and warm tonight. Hey, those are my blankets. Won't hurt to share them one night, Aztec. Maybe, just one night. Night, sweeties. Tomorrow we'll show you all around Horseland. Good night. Sleep well. Good night, Cream. Night, Sugar. He always rubs my nose good night. He just forgot in all the excitement. Everything will be back to normal tomorrow. It's still out there, Sugar. And it's looking at us. I, I'm scared, Cream. I want Mommy. Can you keep it down in there? Sorry. They're just foals, Aztec. They're not used to sleeping in a stall without their mother. No reason to keep everybody else awake. Is everything all right? We're sort of scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Something's watching us. Where? Out there. That's only the moon. My mother used to tell me there's a great horse living in the moon. Can you see his face? I see it. Me too. Mama told me he's always up there, watching over little ones, keeping them safe while they sleep. Wow, look at them. That's what I want to do when I grow up. Kareem, you look just like the big horses. Come on, it's fun. Molly, come see. 
Come see the little horses! Whoa! Hey, everybody, look at this! Aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen? They look so proud of themselves. <laughs> That's it. Show the big horses how it's done. I think I'm gonna be sick. Cream and sugar are just trying to do what we're doing. It's sweet. <laughs> Hi, big horses. Oh, Lessa! Pretty horses. Lessa! Mm. I know the horses wouldn't hurt you on purpose, but there could be an accident. They're so much bigger than you are. What? We'd never hurt anybody. Let's look at some horses more your own size. <gasps> See the baby horses? <laughs> I guess we're not their favorites anymore. Oh, Calypso, that's not it. Babies always get more attention. Babies need more attention. I don't know, Scarlet. I think Aztec's right. Things have changed around here. Time for your morning ride. Morning, babies. I hope you slept all right. <laughs> oh, you think you found something. You like carrots? You two behave yourselves while we're out for our ride. I'll see you when we get back. There's a good baby. Morning, Calypso. Let's get you ready, girl. Oh, sorry, Calypso. Guess I fed your treat to cream and sugar. I'll bring more tomorrow. Promise. What's wrong with you? Hurry up, Molly. We're all saddled up. I'm trying, but Calypso's not cooperating. Honestly, you're more trouble than Lissa. There she is, finally. Sorry, Calypso just doesn't seem to be herself today. Oh, come on, Calypso. Yeah. Honestly, what's eating you, girl? Just look at those two. Ha! That is so cute. No, Calypso, not now. I said stop it, Calypso. <sighs> Pretty cute too, Calypso. No, she's just being silly. Don't encourage her. What's got into you? You're acting like a big baby. I thought that was what you liked. Here you go. <laughs> no shopping now. There's plenty for everybody. <laughs> you 
two have noses for trouble. But there's no use crying over a little spilled water. Those little cults are real cut-ups. Ah, <laughs> oh, Aztec! Watch what you're doing. Now I gotta replace this straw. I don't know what's wrong with you. He thought it was funny when those two did it. Aztec, you don't have to be jealous of the little ones. Ha! <laughs> I'm not jealous of them. Bailey still cares about you. You'll always be special to him. I know that. But those two foals are taking up all of Bailey's time. I want to go home, Cream. Those horses don't want us here. Yeah, when I first saw the big horses, I wanted to be just like them. You're not going to keep us awake all night again, are you? Sorry. We won't do it again. Good. I miss Mommy. I do too. Maybe we should go home. Can we? Don't see why not. Follow me! How'd you do that? I watched Scarlet open her stall the first night we were here. Now, let's go. But be quiet. Which way is home? That way, I think, on the other side of the hills. I hope the horses aren't acting as strange as they were yesterday. They were like a bunch of big babies. Oh, look! Cream and Sugar's stall is open. The foals are gone! Let's go find Bailey! Good riddance, says I. Now maybe we'll get some attention. That's no way to talk, Aztec. Cream and Sugar are just babies. Who knows what trouble they could get into? We have to find them. What's wrong, Champ? What's happened? The foals are missing. Check the paddock and the arena. I look in the meadow. They aren't in the meadow, arena, or the paddock. Oh! Cream saw me open my stall on their first night here. Hmm, who'd have thought the little foal was so smart? Young foals are always eager to learn. Remember how we were at that age? They sure picked up our gates fast enough when we were practicing dressage. I know how we can find cream and sugar. I put these on the foals the first night they were here. Their scent should be all over them. Here, Shep, can you get a scent? <laughs> Go find him, boy. I think we're lost, Cream. I wish we'd never left Horseland. Well, I'm not going back. Those big horses don't like us. We need to get back to Mom. But which way do we go? There! I think we should go that way. I lost him. He's walking in circles now. Hope he picks up their trail again. Don't worry, I will. I hope we find them before night. I don't want to think about cream and sugar, cold and alone. We should have made them feel more welcome at Horseland.
I don't like this trail. We gotta keep going, sugar. But where are we going? I'm not sure. You think they went in there? They are in there! What do we do now? Remember what Scarlet said? There's a great horse up there in the moon, watching over us. I'm sure he can help us! I'm tired, Cream. We can stop here for a while. We can't go any farther. We'll have to turn back. But we can't leave without cream and sugar. They're not here. We have to double back and start looking again. I think I know where they went. Where, Scarlet? They went looking for the moon. Looking for the what? What are you talking about, Scarlet? They're looking for a place they'll feel safe. What? They were safe at Horseland. I think they knew you and Aztec were upset, even if they didn't know why. So they decided to leave. I never wanted that. I just didn't want them hogging all the attention. They never meant to, Aztec. They didn't want to make you feel jealous. It just happened that way. I hope we find them. I think they're up there, somewhere. <gasps> I see them! Look! There they are! There's another trail on top of the canyon. We can get them up there. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. You had us scared for a while. We'll rest the horses a while, then start back. Where were you two headed? We were trying to get home. We thought you didn't want us at Horseland. Sure we wanted you there, at least at first. When my owner started paying so much attention to you, I got a little jealous. I never had to share his attention before, and I blamed you. But it wasn't your fault. I know Molly was a little jealous when her sister first came along. But Molly is really close with Lissa now. I should have remembered that things sometimes change when there's a new addition to a family. We're all family at Horseland. And you're our newest members. Will you come back with us? Oh, sure. All right! Is that cute or what? <laughs> <laughs> Should we start back? I think we're ready. Goodbye, Cream. Goodbye, Sugar. Say hello to your mom for us. Goodbye. See you again soon. We'll remember everything you taught us. See you around. Take care. Don't go getting yourselves into trouble. Our horses sure are noisy today. I think they'll miss the little guys as much as we will. It'll be good to have the stable back to normal. But I'm gonna miss those foals. I guess we sorta love those kids, huh? <laughs> sorta. How'd you like a good, long grooming, Calypso? And you too, Aztec? Come on, let's get going. I've got extra carrots in the stable. Oh, I'm so glad they changed their minds about cream and sugar. It isn't always easy when somebody new joins the family. Oh, but it worked out, didn't it? Yeah, love is a kind of spreading thing, and there's always plenty to go around.
Okay. And you're still napping. I'm a cat. Cat napping is one of the things we do best. You should have come with us. We've been all over the Horseland Meadow checking things out. It was fun and great exercise. I get all the exercise I need chasing mice. That reminds me. What's for dinner? All that exercise has made me hungry. You're always eating. And it shows. We pigs are supposed to be nice and round. Too bad you're not a cat. We're naturally slim and sleek. Admit it, you're jealous. I am not. There's a size and shape that's right for everyone. The important thing is being healthy. And that means the right amount of food and exercise. So, let's go have lunch. You must have really missed Zoe this last couple of weeks. Zoe? Yes. But all those training rides? <laughs> Not on your life. I stayed right here in the stable and got just as many oats as you. Talk about luxury. If anyone deserves to be pampered, it's a surefire winner like me. Ha! Everyone knows Nani and I are going to win the cross-country challenge. That's our thing. Uh, you're forgetting that Zoe is the captain of the cross-country team, and that's because she rides the best horse. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, look who's back. Zoe! Glad you're feeling better. Good to have you back. <laughs> oh, I missed you, Pepper. I can't wait to get this saddle on you and go for a ride. Whoa, girl, looks like you've put on a few pounds. <gasps> I thought I could count on you, sis. You were supposed to make sure Pepper got her exercise while I was out sick. I'm sorry, Zoe. There just wasn't enough time to do everything for two horses. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll soon have you back in shape. Pepper already has a shape. Brown. Cross-country jumps won't be any problem for Scarlet, that's for sure. I hope Pepper's tummy doesn't hit the rail when she goes over. <sighs> to be ready, we've got to work even harder than I thought. You can do it, Zoe. We've still got a while till the tryout. <laughs> right. I want you and Pepper in top form when Sunburst and I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Either those fences have gotten higher, or the rails have gotten looser. Maybe you've just gotten wider. Once you lose a few pounds, you shouldn't have any problems. Or you could just use the extra weight to plow through all the obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> A nice bag of oats, Chili. You earned it. I'm really looking forward to dinner tonight. I'm afraid we have to cut back on your oats, Pepper. I spoke to the vet, and he told me just how much to give you to help you lose that weight you gained. Sorry. It wasn't my fault. How come I have to be the one to suffer? Everybody's making such a big deal about a few extra pounds. And that pitiful little bag of oats. Why, how's a horse supposed to sleep when she's still thinking about dinner? If I could just have a little midnight snack, maybe I'd feel better. <gasps> I'm in luck. One snack won't make any difference to getting back in shape again. Besides, Everybody already thinks I'm fat. 
What's the use of denying myself a little nibble? What's wrong, Zoe? Pepper won't jump. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Pepper. You've made this jump a hundred times. Maybe she could float over. <laughs> She's as big as a balloon. Come on, Pep. You're embarrassing me. I don't know what's wrong with you, Pepper. It just seems like you can't do anything right lately. You're making me, I, I mean us, look bad. If you can't do any better than that, we might as well not even race. Maybe we'll do better tomorrow. <sighs> Zoe's right. It's all my fault. All because of this added weight I'm carrying. I've got to stop eating so much. No, I've got to stop eating. Period. I'm going to lose this weight fast. I'm going to make Zoe proud of me again. What's up, Pepper? You're not eating, and this is a really tasty grazing. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Mmm, nom, nom, nom. Tasty, mmm. Nothing better than fresh grass. Nobody's going to make me eat. I've got too many pounds to lose if I'm going to be in shape for the tryout. Oh, but that grass sure does look yummy. Hmm. No, I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to do it. I've got to think of something to take my mind off food. Hey, I've got an idea. How about a few laps around the pasture, just to keep in training? Training isn't just about exercise, Pep. Sunburst is right. It's also about getting enough rest to let your body recuperate from the hard training you've done and eating healthy food to give you energy. Mm -hmm. Food like this delicious grass. You just want me to be fat and out of shape so you can win. If no one wants to run with me, I'll run by myself. I was just trying to help. Pepper's sensitive because she feels overweight and out of shape. She'll come around if we encourage her instead of teasing her. <sighs> I'm so tired and hungry. Are you okay, Pepper? You look worn out. Me? Worn out? No! There's nothing like a little exercise to make you feel great. Really? You looked exhausted when we left the pasture. I was just getting my second wind. I could have run for another hour. Dinner time! Hello, my sweet chili. <laughs> have a nice dinner, Pepper. See you tomorrow. There's no way I'm going to regain the weight I lost with all that running. <gasps> ah! 
Pepper! Wow! Who took the pampered Pepper we know and replaced her with this one? All that running before a race isn't good for her. She has to give her body time to rest and recuperate. We have to convince her to stop. Stop, Pepper. We need to talk. Uh, out of my way. I'm trying to exercise. You've been doing too much of that. We're worried about you, all of us. You're all jealous. Now that I'm getting back into shape, you're afraid that I'll make you look bad. Too much exercise is almost as bad as not enough. You won't have anything left for the tryout. You must think you've already won just because I'm an out of shape butterball. Well, not anymore. Zoe and I will be the ones going to the big race and we're going to win it too. I'll run rings around you, just like I'm doing to this pasture. You're your normal self again. I knew you could do it, Pepper, and have I got a treat for you. A nice, juicy carrot. Come on, Pepper, you've earned it. Not hungry, girl? That's okay, you're still the best. You'll be the fastest, most beautiful horse ever. A perfect representative for Horseland. I know you're not going to let me down, Pepper. It's almost time for the tryout. It won't be much of one with me and Sunburst in it, but you'll have a good spot to watch us cross the finish line ahead of you. Only if we turn around and look back, you're forgetting who's the captain of the cross country team. That doesn't mean you'll be the fastest today. And only one horse and rider from each stable gets to go to the state finals. Don't worry about Nani's bragging. We're going to win, and I want you to look beautiful when we cross the finish line. That's funny. This is the wrong time of year for a horse to be shedding. It's almost like your hair's falling out. Time to mount up. I've got some great horse shampoo that'll take care of that after the tryout. Ready, girl? We'll show everyone who's the best horse at Horseland. Careful, Pepper. I can't win if I'm not in the saddle. Are you all right, Pep? Don't worry about me. I'm not some roly-poly pushover anymore. I'm a lean, mean racing machine. I have the honor of starting the tryouts today. So, on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> You can do it, Pepper! <gasps> Don't worry, Pepper. Anybody could slip going over a stream. We'll catch him. Let's go! Faster, Sunburst! Show them who's the cross-country king! You can do it! I know you can! <sighs> what is it, Pepper? What's wrong? <sighs> Pepper, get up, girl! <sighs> oh, please, Pepper, you're just tired! <sighs> I don't know why you're so tired out, but it'll be okay. You can rest while I go for help. <sighs> Don't go anywhere. I'll be back as fast as I can. Whoa, 
Sunburst? Great job, Sunburst! You won! We're going to the state finals! Fantastic ride, Nani! Well, cross country is Sunburst's specialty. No one could catch him today. Yeah, just wait till next time. Dream on, Calypso. But where are Pepper and Zoe? What is it, Scarlet? I wonder where Zoe and Pepper are. They shouldn't be that far behind. Maybe Pepper lost a shoe or came up lame. Or maybe something else is wrong. What's wrong? Pepper lay down on the trail in the woods and won't move. I don't know what's the matter with her. I wanted to win, but not like this. We all wanted to win, but now I just want Pepper to be all right. You take Calypso. Since our cell phones don't work out here, I'll dash back to the stable and call the vet from there. The rest of you can go help Pepper. Thanks, Molly. Oh, Pepper! Why are you so tired? Pepper's going to be all right. You'll see. Molly will be here with the vet before you know it. What's taking so long? Zoe, it's only been a few minutes. What's wrong, Pepper? Don't you feel good? I'm really tired and hungry. I haven't eaten very much lately. But why? I just wanted to lose weight. I wanted to be ready for the tryout, and I didn't want you to make fun of me for being fat anymore. We didn't really mean it. We were just teasing. I know, but it still hurt. And I just wanted to lose a few pounds, but it never seemed like enough. We're sorry, Pepper. <laughs> we never thought our words would be so hurtful. The vet says you'll be as good as new soon, but you have to rest and eat to get your strength back. And he's going to come check on you every few days to make sure you're following orders. He says he thinks Pepper's hardly been eating anything, but I fed her every day. Well, if Pepper didn't eat her food, what happened to it? I wonder. That's what happened to the food. Pepper didn't eat any of it. It's like she knew I thought she needed to lose weight. And we were laughing at her. None of this would have happened if I'd kept my promise and taken good care of Pepper while you were sick. I was just so busy trying to get Chili ready for the race. I'm sorry, Zoe. We were all too busy to notice someone needed our help. Thank goodness Pepper's going to be okay. First, you rest and start eating right again. And when you're stronger, we'll give you just the right amount of exercise. Pretty soon, you'll be the healthiest horse in Horseland. It sure is great to see you back to your old self. And my old weight. It makes me tired just watching them. Maybe if you exercised a little more, Teeny. Hey. Like Shep said, there's a right size and shape for everyone, and everyone is different. Just imagine if I were as slim and sleek as you. Ugh. And what would be so wrong with that? Why, I wouldn't look like my beautiful round piggy self anymore. I'd look like a bull cat. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Teeny. Watch out, pig. Coming through. What's going on around here, Shep? 
They're getting the place ready. Got a famous visitor coming by today. Famous, you say? This I've got to see. And I'm sure our famous visitor would like to see me, too. I wouldn't go out there. It's sort of dangerous. Please, I'm a cat. I laugh at danger. <laughs> Been Kitty Pizza! Told you so. Tina tried to warn you. When somebody has good advice to share, you ought to listen. Soon as we get the back stall next to Calypso cleaned up, we'll be ready for our guest. We'll want it to be nice and comfy so River can get better after his operation. Did she say River? The River? That River? River is coming here to Horseland? Who's River? Just about the most awesome horse that ever lived. Won the Longfellow Steeplechase four times. And the national and international show jumping championships. That's pretty good. Pretty good? River's a living legend. He could run all day without getting tired. And when he jumped a fence, it was like an eagle soaring in the sky. And in the show jumping ring, there was no horse more graceful. River never knocked down a rail, not one in his whole career. He won every competition he ever entered. There was never a horse that could compare with River. It'll be an honor to have a horse like River spend a few days in our stable. I'm sure we can learn a lot from him. Oh, just look at this place. We have to look our best to greet a champion. <laughs> <sighs> Finally finished. Chili! We just finished cleaning and you're already messing the place up. I think he's trying to tell us something. I think they want to look their best for River, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you can read their minds. Maybe Sarah's right. Wouldn't hurt to spruce them up a bit. Wasn't easy, but it sure was worth it. I don't think the horses or the stable ever looked better. Oh, Chili, what is it now? <laughs> I think he's trying to tell us that we need to clean up too. A little welcome speech all worked out, so don't say anything and let me do the talking. <sighs> huh? What? Oh dear. My goodness. Poor old fella. I hope he'll like it here. He'll need a lot of rest to get his strength back. Once my grandmother had an operation and it took months for her to get back to normal. We'll take good care of you, River. We'll be right back, River. Wow. Those races must have been a long time ago. But that can't be River. The champion River? River? Yep, that's me. Hello, River. My name's Scarlet. Nice to meet you, dear. Hi. I'm Chili, and on behalf of the horses of Horseland, <clears throat> I want to say it's a great honor Mighty to- Mighty nice of you, but if you don't mind, I've had a long trip, and I could use a rest. Plenty of time to talk later. Um, right, later. Here you go, boy. Come on, River. Let's get you some water now.
I guess he's changed from when he was young. Like Pepper said, it was a long time ago that River won those races. Yep, long time. Haven't competed in over 15 years. Retired, you know. Turned out to pasture. But I remember those days like yesterday. Tell us about the first time you won the Longfellow steeplechase. <laughs> you had to be the fastest horse ever. I was fast, but racing, especially a steeplechase, isn't all about fast. Pacing's just as important as speed. Start off too fast and you don't have anything left for the finish. That's a hard lesson to learn when you're young and feeling your oats. But it's important. Mmm. There's that sorghum mixed in. Tasty. Best sorghum I ever had was in Kentucky. I was training for a race there. Tell us about the race. They call it Kentucky Bluegrass Country, but I don't know why it isn't blue. <laughs> it's green, like any other grass. Good, though. Some of the best I ever grazed. Florida's got good grass, too, but it's sandy. The ground, I mean, not the grass. Some big hero. All he cares about is grass. California's good, but you gotta water the grass a lot. <laughs> Say, did I tell you about the time? Reminds me of a stable where the oats were so good. <laughs> Guess I told you that one. <laughs> You can do it! Oh. Too bad, Pepper. You'll do better next time. Hmm. I barely brushed the rail. Must have been a breeze. Must have blown the rail off. I think you need to settle yourself down and shorten your stride coming up to the fence. It's not so much the speed you carry into a jump that matters. It's hitting the mark for your takeoff. You youngsters are too impatient sometimes. It was only a practice. <sighs> Get used to knocking down rails in practice, and you'll knock them down when you compete. All I'm saying is, the fastest ride is a clean ride. Come on, Chili. Let's show them how it's done. Okay, watch my stride and hit my takeoff points. Let's go, Chili. Good going, Chloe! Great job, Chloe and Chili! Bravo! You did it! Great ride, Chili! I'm so proud of you, Chili! What'd you think of that? Not bad for a youngster. <laughs> River? Uh huh. Sorry. Must have dozed off. Horse nap, you know. How'd the ride go? Okay. Too bad you didn't see it. That horse is way too critical. I'll be glad when he leaves. Aw, uh, cut him some slack, Pepper. He just had an operation. And he tells those long, boring stories. But he's not boring. Don't tell me you like listening to that long-winded old know-it-all. Well, I... I mean, I... He thinks horses today can't do anything. Not like the horses when he was young. Shh, he's coming. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna stand around and listen to that boring blowhard. Mm. This sure is good. Not as good as Kentucky bluegrass. Which isn't really blue. <laughs> Guess I told you that one. Yeah, you did. Come on, let's raise by the fence. You coming, Chili? 
suit yourself. Where are they off to? I don't know. You better tell them not to go too far. There's a storm coming. A storm? But there's not a cloud anywhere. When you get my age, you feel a storm in your bones. Especially if it's gonna be a big one. Say, did I tell you about the time? No, but that's okay. I have to go. Chili? Hold on, boy. Where are you going? Sometimes I don't know what gets into these young'uns. Guess Chili ran off on account of me. Can't leave him out there alone. Not with this storm coming. Still got my touch. Don't want anybody else getting out. Now to find that young'un. All my life I've heard about River. Wanted to be like him. But he's nothing like I thought he'd be. Pepper's right. He's boring. Chili, where are you, youngin? Box Canyon. Ought to be a good place to hide. River will never find me here. Why'd you go and run away? Told you there was a storm coming. There's no storm! You don't know everything! Never said I knew everything. I'm sorry if it seemed that way. Guess I need to work on understanding young horses. You're just so different from what I expected. A champion, you mean? Something like that. That was a long time ago, Chili. Horses change. Sounds like you young'uns could work on understanding old horses, too. Come on, let's get back before that storm hits. What storm? That storm. Oh, yeah, that storm. Follow me. It's blocked! We're trapped! We'll have to jump if we can. On this leg, I'd never make it. But you might. I never jumped anything that big. You have to. Only way to bring help. Just remember... I know. Shorten my stride. Pick my takeoff point. I guess you young'uns were listening. I can do it. Short strides, hit my takeoff point. Here goes! I'll be back with help! Reminds me of me when I was his age. The rain. I've got to hurry. Pacing's just as important as speed. Start off too fast, you don't have anything left for the finish. River's right. I gotta have strength to lead them back. Let's get the horses in the stable. Wait, where's Chili? He's not here. Chili remembers what I told him. 
Come on, we better hurry. Not too fast, Pepper. River says you have to pace yourself. If we don't, we'll be too tired to do anything when we get there. Yeah, I guess he's right. Hope those youngins get here soon, before I catch pneumonia. Horses aren't too tired to move it. Tie the other end to your saddles. Now let's all pull together. <laughs> okay, pull! There Come you on, go. you can all do right. it! stuck like that. You wouldn't have gotten stuck if I hadn't run off. I was acting like a spoiled colt. I guess I gotta remember, my stories aren't so interesting to a herd of young horses. They're interesting if we take the time to listen. Chili's right. There's a lot we can learn from. Nothing like a nice, warm stable and a good bag of oats. Reminds me of a stable where the oats were so good. But you youngins don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the time you won the Longfellow steeplechase. You don't want to hear about that, do you? Yeah, we do. If you don't mind telling us. Well... There we were, lined up at the start, with me next to Fleetmaster, big chestnut stallion. He was the favorite he'd won the year before. This was my first big test. Don't mind telling you I was nervous, but that went away as soon as the flag dropped and the race started. You never heard such a thunder of hooves. It was like we struck lightning from our horseshoes. Fleetmaster and I went down the street, I was young and strong, but I knew that wasn't enough to win. I had to race smart, had to pace myself. So I dropped back to save my strength, waited for the chance to make my move. At the last fence, I saw Fleetmaster was tired, and I gave it everything I had. Closed the distance, and we were side by side, neck and neck, and then... I passed him. I crossed the finish line, and I'd done it. Won my first big race. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. There's a lot we can learn from each other, if we care enough to listen. <laughs> Thank you. 